Problem number 89 from the 2012 AP Calc AB exam. This is definitely a problem where the calculator is, is necessary in order to help you produce the result. If you don't know how to do some calculations on the calculator, uh, there's really no way for you to get this other than by flat out guessing it correctly. So talking about a particle moving along a line and its acceleration is given for positive values of time by this function a of t. If the particle's velocity at time zero is five, what is the velocity of the particle at time three? So what we have is a velocity at a given time, and we desire a velocity at a different time. We also have access to the acceleration function. So here is how you connect the pieces in order to produce the calculation that you see on my screen right here. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. If you integrate a rate of change across a certain interval, this is the rate of change of velocity, a of t is. If I integrate the rate of change of velocity across the interval 0 to 3, the result to this definite integral is going to tell me the amount the velocity of the particle has changed by from time 0 to time 3. I'm not just going to do that integral though because I have to account for the fact that this is just the change in velocity on the interval from 0 to 3. I need to take into account what my velocity started at at time 0. The velocity started at 5, so the calculation that I'm in need of doing is to take 5 and then add on the value of this definite integral. So what you see as my calculator input here is from a TI-83. If you have a TI-84 or a calculator with a nicer call sequence, you should know how to get this expression typed into your calculator. Uh, but once you recognize that this is the calculation that needs to be done, the rest of the work happens on the calculator, and we end up with option E.